Hey guys, it's really really hot in this house right now. I have a fan going on to my right. We have no AC in this house. A lot of the Korean apartments doesn't have AC so we have to go buy one really soon but it's expensive. So this is my second time filming this. I was about one third finished and then I realized my mic wasn't on. So I guess I'll start over. So today I have a makeup haul. Just some products that are new in stores like YSL, Benefit, and a couple more stuff. I love how Korea, they package it so nicely whenever you buy makeup. Like if you go to um, the Benefit counter and buy something from Benefit, they give you a Benefit bag, shopping bag, and YSL. Because back in Texas, if I bought something at like Nordstrom or anything inside the mall, they didn't give a matching shopping bag. I don't know why, but I love when things match like this. So the first product that I already opened, it was packaged so nicely, you guys. Mm. Okay, so this is the new Benefit blush. You guys know how much I love Benefit. And my husband bought this from Hyundai Bekajom. It cost 78000 So $78,000. Which I think will cost around 65 USD. And on Sephora, it costs, I think, $54. So it's a little bit more expensive here in Korea, but at least I can get my hands on it because there's a lot of brands that I can't buy here, like Anastasia. So I saw that Benefit had a couple new products in, so I asked Aiden to go to Seoul and get it for me since I had to watch the kids. Because the mall next to our house, they don't carry Benefit. So here is the box and this is just like a little mini book showing you how to use each blush. In here it has five different shades. It has the Hula, Rock Couture, California Dandelion, and Hula Light. And in this palette, these two are new, the California blush and the Hula Light. That's the main reason why I wanted this palette. And this is my older one. I'm almost done using my Dandelion. I hate how there was no mirror on here, but there's a huge mirror on here. The size is a lot bigger on this palette. And this is a tin can, whereas this is like a hardback cover, kind of like a textbook. It feels very sturdy though. It doesn't feel like weak or cheap or anything. I prefer this when traveling than carrying this big tin can thing around. Okay, so I already kind of swatched this. It was brand new when I like filmed this a few minutes ago. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know the Hula shade. This is my favorite one to contour. So today I wanted to try out the California and the Hula Light. I actually applied the Hula Light when I was filming a few minutes ago. So this is how it looks. On the face. For the Hula Light, um, you just sweep it all over the face as a finishing powder. This matte light bronzer instantly warms up your complexion. Um, so I placed a video here of me applying this blush and it instantly warmed up my complexion. These three shades are matte. But the California one, whenever I swatched it, I didn't see like big chunks of like shimmers or glitters, but I could tell it has like a golden sheen, like a golden touch to it. So I think it will look super pretty in the summertime, especially for beach makeup. It does come with the brush, but I don't know why I never liked using this. I prefer using my own. Next thing from Benefit, this is, ta-da! Dandelion Twinkle. I love everything about this product. Um, the name Twinkle and the image on here and even the color, it's like rose gold. So this is the new nude pink powder for highlighting and luminizing. Apply all over face for soft luminous sheen. Open it, there is a small tiny mirror. Comes with the brush. I had my eyes on this product and I wanted to get it so bad. Okay, so from the swatch, 
it looks very it looks kind of matte like a matte powder beige powder oh, okay but well, I could tell from the light reflection that this is going to be super pretty uh, I already have some highlighter on right now but I guess I'll apply some a little bit more You could definitely see it like along right here. I love how this one is not doesn't look as shimmery as my um, Laura Mercier one, but whenever it hits the light, it's so pretty. Moving on to YSL, the bag is so pretty. So from YSL, this is the Fusion Ink Compact Foundation. Packaging looks very similar to the cushion, except the cushion has this like um, gold ring around it, and this is just plain black. So this new product is kind of like a setting powder, but in a compact form, um, kind of like a mineral veil. Uh, use this to touch up throughout the day, and it also helps get rid of my shine. So, and here it comes with this sponge. There's two sides to it, one's coated and one's not coated. I personally like the side that's not coated because it's easier to like blend out the product whereas the coated one, you can't really like blend it so you have to kind of roll it on. So this is different from the cushion foundation. This is how the cushion looks like. Whereas this one is kind of like a powder and when you press on it, it feels so weird. It feels like, like a cake, like a hard um, cake. And it's like a powder. So it's in a kind of a cream texture, but then it turns to powder whenever you apply it on the face. So this product has been very helpful these days because it's getting so hot in Korea and very humid so i'm constantly sweating whenever i go outside so now i make sure to apply this especially on my t-zones whenever i leave the house just apply this over my foundation especially on the t-zones and it just keeps my foundation in place and um, it has like a velvety finish to it I also love how there's some coverage to it. It's not just white like some of the mineral veils. And also there's SPF 23 in here. I had this makeup on since the morning time and then we were out all day and just got home. So my face is like super oily. So I just kind of touched up with this product. So I just like dab it on. Feels like a powder. Two tints from there. So one of the shades like a pinkish orange shade and the other one is a fuchsia color so number 47 so in some lightings it looks orange some lighting it looks like a pinkish red color and then here's the fuchsia color This smells really good too. So I first saw the shade on Park Soojin. She's Baek Jun's wife. She's like the model for YSL here in Korea and she always takes pictures of the lipsticks on her Instagram. So this is how it looks. I guess it looks kind of reddish orange on my lips. This is the fuchsia pink color. So this next lipstick, I got this last time, I think it was last month, but I wanted to show you guys which shade I got because I think now it's available in America and like other places. So these are the new lipsticks with the little lip like kiss mark in the center. I'm not sure if you could tell on this one, it's kind of hard to tell. So this, it just feels like a tinted lip balm. Um, I got mine in the shade number four, which is very popular. It was always sold out, I finally got it. I kind of applied a lot so you could see the color on the camera. 
I love this, like it smells really good, it's very moisturizing. If you build it up, it does have good color payoff compared to other tints and balms. This next product, this is so cute, you guys. It's the Dear Darling Tint from Etted House. Tints look like ice cream, little popsicles. <laughs> so in this set, it comes with six shades. I wonder what this is. It's like a very glittery, shimmery color. Oh my gosh, look at this. Twist this. Ooh. So this color, I don't think it will really show if I put it on my bare lips, but I think it will be really pretty if I put it on top of like a lipstick or a different tint. It just looks clear with a lot of shimmers in it. Let me just swatch all of this. Maybe I'll try this one on my lips. I really like the swatch. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice on the lips and it smells really really good very 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 hydrating it feels like water it doesn't feel sticky at all i really like the shade i thought it would be darker but on the lips it looks really nice so this last product is this makeup brush that my friend my tongseng mish muse jen launched recently she has like this holographic card in here with the little letter and also comes with the brush guide. So pretty and I know how long it took her to make this. Like she designed probably everything on this guide. Even last year when I was visiting Korea and I went over to her house, she was working on this and it took her over a year because she recently launched it. So in this gorgeous box um, it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten brushes in here i took one out because i was using it it's over there on my vanity the brushes look so pretty that i don't want to take it out of the box like i don't want to get it dirty so i'm just using my old brushes that i have and i think i'm going to save this i'm using one for now because i really liked it um it's like a like a pencil brush and i use it to apply uh, shadow on my crease so I think Jen and Willopa they packaged each one seriously so pretty maybe I should start using this I don't want to get it dirty <laughs> so this is the rolled powder and then this is the flat powder this is an angled foundation brush concealer brush fine tip brush and this is a shadow brush flat shadow brush blending brush so soft and this is the precise contouring brush i guess i'll start using you guys from tomorrow <laughs> on my future tutorials if you guys ever see me using a brush with the white handles it's from muse that was all the new in makeup products that i wanted to show you guys it's almost 1 a.m oh my gosh i need to go to sleep i'm so glad you guys enjoyed watching the reacting to old youtube videos that i uploaded before this one um a lot of people are laughing at aiden's comments so i guess i'll go to bed now if you guys are bored go check out my vlogs on my tv channel which i will also link down below and i'll talk to you guys on my next video bye, -bye.